Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the Disneyland Resort is proud to present a world-class ensemble of musicians from the United States Army. Please give a rousing cheer and welcome them now. From Good afternoon, Disneyland. How's everybody doing today? How's everybody doing today? Good afternoon, Disneyland. All right. We are very excited to be here. My name is Sergeant First Class Eric J. Ramos. I am a trumpet player and a bugler with the U.S. Army Band and with the U.S. Army Herald Trumpets, which you see before you today. Thank you, thank you. Our conductor is Lieutenant Colonel Derek Shaw, the Deputy Commander of the United States Army Band, Pershing Zone, and Director of the United States Army Herald Trumpets, the official fanfare ensemble to the President of the United States. On behalf of our leader and commander, Colonel Andrew J. Esch, it is a pleasure for us to offer you this special presentation of the United States Army Herald Trumpets. Stationed in Washington, D.C., the United States Army Herald Trumpets are members of the United States Army Band Pershing Zone, the Army's premier musical organization. Since 1922, when General John J. Blackjack Pershing gave the order to organize and equip the Army Band, the men and women of Pershing Zone have provided musical support for the military district of Washington and entertained audiences from around the world. The Herald Trumpets were formed in 1959 to welcome Queen Elizabeth II to the opening ceremonies of the St. Lawrence Seaway. Since that time, the Herald Trumpets have become the official presidential fanfare ensemble performing at the White House and throughout the nation for heads of state and other high-ranking dignitaries. Our next piece is one of our oldest and most frequently performed fanfares and was one of the first pieces to become a staple in the Herald Trump Trumpet repertoire. It is also a great example of how the Herald Trumpets serve to announce the arrival, departure, or movement of those being honored. Please enjoy Jubilant. So I must say we're very excited to be here today, and I'm really, really looking forward to getting on some of those rides later. Who's been on the Jungle Cruise today? All right, all right. Anybody been on Space Mountain? All right, so there's lots of 
cool ride that we're really excited to hopefully get a chance to go enjoy later. And we're also going to be able to play with the Disneyland band later this evening. So we're going to be doing a lot of fun and exciting things today here at Disneyland. Very, very, very cool. Our next piece is the newest addition to the Herald Trumpets repertoire and was written for the inaugural ceremony of President Donald J. Trump. Composed especially for the Herald Trumpets by Army Band Chief Arranger, Master Sergeant Michael Brown, Triumphant Herald Salute is a great example of a modern American fanfare. We give you Triumphant Herald Salute. Our next selection features the Herald Trumpets as two separate brass choirs and showcases the dynamic and harmonic range of this unique ensemble. Written for the Army Band trip to Brisbane, Australia in the summer of 2000, here is Australia Antiphonal Fanfare. Like so much of the literature of this celebrated ensemble, the following selection has been performed in halls and stages all over the world. And while we enjoy our travels and proud of our collaborations with ensembles across the globe, our most important and significant performances have taken place right here on American soil. One of these performances took place just after the terrorist attacks of September 11, 2001 when the United States Army Band traveled to New York City and participated in a special memorial service for the first responders and recovery workers at Ground Zero. The Army Band, the Army Band and the Herald Trumpets also honored the enduring American spirit and resilient citizens of New York by performing concerts for emotional crowds throughout the city. Written especially for that occasion by Staff Ranger Sergeant Major retired, retired Paul Murtha and premiered at Lincoln Center's Avery Fisher Hall. Here is Heroic Fanfare.
leader and commander of the United States Army Band Person Zone. We thank you for your attendance and hope that you have enjoyed our demonstration. We also ask that as you go about your daily lives, that you please remember the thousands of soldiers, sailors, airmen, Marines, and members of the Coast Guard as they serve around the world in defense of our great nation. Here are Dealer's Dream and Olympic Fanfare. 